uh, PS Environment and Natural Resources, Director General KWS, members of the Diplomatic Corps, Ambassador Namaya Ratich, the Chairman, heads of conservation agencies and government bodies, Justice Mongo, Dr. Makanda, the Judiciary, AU Aiba, Mayor McDonald, ANO USA, board and staff of ANO, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Ministry of Environment and Natural Resources, it is my great pleasure to join you all today as we celebrate 10 years of the African Network for Animal Welfare. I would also like to take this opportunity to extend a warm welcome to our sisters and brothers who have traveled long distances to commemorate this 10 year anniversary. I am aware that Arno's establishment was inspired by individuals who are concerned about the increasing threat to our natural heritage, our human attitudes, and our behavior towards animals. Ladies and gentlemen, conservation of wildlife habitat is part of animal welfare, as animals, the environment, and people have always coexisted in an integrate, in intricate relationship, which is part of our daily lives. We value our animals as a source of income and livelihoods, as well as our cultural symbols. Unfortunately, our animals' ability to comfortably interact <coughs> with the environment in which they live is often compromised, neglected, overlooked, or misunderstood due to lack of awareness. This peaceful relationship that existed has drastically changed over time, presenting great challenges. The needs of our growing human population continue to exert pressure on available land and resources, including traditional wildlife habitats, largely driven by economic activities, human settlements, and infrastructure development, which has exacerbated conflict in our country. Moreover, with the emergence of the bushmeat trade, the cruel and inhumane killing of wildlife for commercial gain has gained momentum and is now one of the largest threats to wildlife and causes immense suffering to animals. How the conflict is presented, discussed, and addressed requires a concerted partnership approach built on mutual respect, which recognizes the value of each stakeholder. Our national development process must integrate the needs of animal welfare and conservation at the planning stage. Distinguished conservationists, one of the key drivers of wildlife crime has been inadequate prosecution capacity of wildlife crimes to serve as a deterrent. I am happy that ANO and the Judiciary Training Institute continue to pro provide leadership to the multi-agency collaboration framework to enhance skills and knowledge to our justice chain system officers. The outcome of this partnership and training has sent a clear message to the criminal syndicates that Kenya is committed to resolving wildlife crime. Distinguished guests, this collaboration framework has also identified loopholes in the current Wildlife Management and Conservation Act 2013, and my ministry is concerned about wildlife crime and commits to have these amendments approved by the National Assembly. In addition, In addition, my ministry is committed to establishing a prosecution unit at the KWS and establishing a multi-agency framework to enhance investigation, <coughs> intelligence gathering, and information to expedite prosecution and sentencing of wildlife crime offenders. I will also engage other relevant agencies to create an interagency framework for enhanced investigations, intelligence, intelligence gathering, and sharing information. I am aware that ANO and its partners continue to support the National Judiciary 
a dialogues on wildlife crime and environmental crimes and training of the justice chain officers. On behalf of my ministry, I confirm that we will work closely with the African <coughs> Network for Animal Welfare towards achieving our shared goals in the spirit of partnership. You can count on my ministry's full support and goodwill, and I look forward to your great success. In conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to take this opportunity to congratulate the African Network for Animal Welfare on their 10th anniversary. I would also like to take this opportunity to say that it's my honor and my privilege to be here with you to launch the 2016-2020 strategy. And I wish you success in moving ahead. See you in the next 50 years. Thank you. <laughs>